I believe the Lord wants us to create a lifestyle with him that's beyond our own comfort. Our life in Christ looks different to each other. All three of my kids don't really look like me. Well, one does because she has brown hair and brown eyes. That's the only reason I say she does. But they all, they all, they, they very much look like my husband. They very much look like my, my husband's genes are very strong in all three of them. But they look different. But they're all mine. Right? The same thing with the Lord. Our relationship with the Lord all looks different, but we're all his. We're all called. We're all a part of the same family. I love in Ephesians, um, or sorry, Romans chapter 1, or excuse me, chapter 12, verse, I'll just start with verse 3. It says, for I say through the grace given to me, and if you do, we do a Bible reading. Um, This was part of our Bible reading this week. For I say through the grace given to me to think to everyone who is among you, everyone, not to think of himself more highly than you ought to think, but to think soberly as God has dealt to one, to each one of us, a measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function. So we being many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. This is, this is as we close, this is the final call, the, the final place for you guys to decide. My body, my actual body can function without things. It can function with maybe one kidney, one lung, right? I know I've seen people function with one arm. I've seen people function with no arms. I've seen people function with no legs, a foot, parts of their brains not working. People can function without, the, without everything being there, but that's not God's intended best for us. The body of Christ can function without you, but it's not his best for you or for the body.